Hey, sorry everybody, I haven't been writing lately. I've been a little busy. Not only is it busy in business, uh, COVID uh, seems to have now busied my business than ever, um, but also helping out at a, look at me, I'm wiping the sweat off my face, um, has busied my business, but also put me in place of nursing. Um, so busy doing both. Um, Cheryl's busy as well doing her jobs. We have a couple of um, things coming up uh, really soon. Borrowed Cheryl's glasses. <laughs> uh, really soon we have a um, Visions in the Fields event and that's August 22nd. That will be under COVID regulations. Right now we have 15 outside. We will social distance in the pasture. You have to reserve your spot for that. I'm not going to take any money. You can pay that night because we're really trying to zig and zag with COVID here. Um, masks are a must and hand washing and all that. We will have that. We will be under a tent out on the stars, um, hopefully in a little less humid weather um, and hopefully it doesn't rain. Uh, so we look forward to that. And if it works well, we'll carry it on. If it's really busy, we'll do it another night and all of you can sign up. And then um, you'll start to see soon we have something coming in and we're going to call it the COVID open house. Like, I wish we had another name for this crazy chaos. But um, we feel it's a real pleasure to see that our clients and hopefully between the quarantine and the anger and the hatred, we can find some peace to be just human beings and be kind. So we're going to have a COVID open house that is uh, coming up in September. Cheryl will be advertising that. Yes, that will be under COVID regulations too. So my thoughts are this is that we will um, provide you uh, a time schedule to come uh, and we will social distance. So outside, fine. In the buildings, no. There will only be one or two of you avail um, being able to come in, get a card reading, shop for any uh, new Christmas presents or some of our wreaths that we're going to have and things we're going to have. Jams and jellies, we have those. We have oils and everything. You make great things for Christmas and the holidays coming up. Um so you'll be able to shop, but there will only be like a couple at a time. And that's with masks and hand sanitizers. And then out in the field, we will have space to walk and be in the tent. But also, um, we're thinking little snacks and stuff for the holidays, just because we can't do anything, right? Um, so we're trying to be creative. We're trying to be safe. And I'm a nurse, and I'm going to follow every recommendation there is, whether you think it's a lot of hoo-ha or not or we whatever you want to call it. Um, it is not. Um, but we want to be safe and we want to create some sort of, and I hate that word or those words, new normal, but some sorts, some sorts, sort of normalcy and uh, light and love. And so if you have any confusion about how we're doing things, please call the office. Um, we just lost power today in the farm. So our number is 401-206-7330. If you can't leave a message or we don't get to you, don't worry about it. I will get to you. You can call on my private line, which is 401-206-9644. I'm glad to help you. But give me space. I'm doing clients. I'm helping out at nursing. Uh, we're making jams and jellies over here. And Reese and uh, Cheryl and I are working hot. And can you see the sweat pouring down? I can't wait till the fall. Honestly, I can't wait. So all my love to you. Things are great. Um, and in replace of writings, you know, when I feel like I can write, I will write. Um, you know, uh, maybe I'll chat with you after my nursing shift at midnight. You guys want to tune in for that? I'll do that. Um, but all my love, hang in there. I know it looks tough out there, but uh, we're getting there. And we're getting to a place where um, we can adapt to this in 2020. will show us the light and show us the way of 2021. So... Be cool. Take care. Bye-bye.